What up? What up? What's going on? It is your boys. I am your co-host, Smoke Dog, for my man G Fades, and this is the Rich Dream Show. Let's go. What's up, man? Man, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. Yes, sure. sir. Let's see. Springtime. Got a lot going on today. NFL draft, playoffs. First of the month. It's the first of the month, so you better have made it, made sure that rent or that mortgage is paid. Stop yeah. playing with it. First of the month, man. Man, they be trying to catch me up. They've been sending me emails talking about I can split it. You know? Oh, wow. I'm yeah, talking. see? They trying to... That that's ain't good. Like that's not a good look right there. See, that's, that's, that's they create bad habits, man. No fall into the trap, man. It's a trap. I'm telling man. you. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, the Now Legacy Network, uh, providing you through the Fishbowl Network lots of different content, uh, different shows, interviews. Make sure you tap in with them, with the Now Legacy Network. Uh, of course, number one sponsor. Rich dreams. I'm a part of the Dreamers Club, y'all. I just got my my life's little fit, you know. I'm feeling it, you know. Matching the decor, love it. Um, make sure you tap in with us during the show. We'll have the QR codes popping up where you can get your merch. They mm-hmm. take you ex- exclusively to our Etsy site. Mm-hmm. Uh, tap in with us on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. It's all Rich Dreams, baby. Yes, sir. Man. It's always a special day in the neighborhood when we got a guest, man. We had we hadn't had a guest in a minute. It's been a minute since we had a guest. Um, always love, of course. Well, we our main thing on the show since day one has been promoting black business. That's what we do. And we got a, a entrepreneur, fellow like yourself. Um, sure. I believe you guys have some background, kind of back in the days, kind of in, in the Nagish days, or. Yeah, so this this uh one of my partners from 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 home. Um, uh, we we met through we met through a mutual friend. Okay. Um, and we've been we've been kind of you know we've been cool ever since you know. Um, uh, then upon you know both of us getting into the bar like well, once we both got into like the barber industry, you know we we would talk every so often about this or that you know on some barber stuff and. Also, just oh, the keep, ethics, baby. I like that. Yeah, just all I, you know, me being uh me being in it professionally a little bit longer than him. You know, he would reach out to me and kind of ask me about certain stuff. You know, like when he was taking the test, and you know, just uh you know, just just sharing knowledge uh with each other. Yeah, you know, just something that I you know I wanted to you know I had a question about. I thought that he knew. You know, I would ask him. So we just powering each other. Yeah, yeah, we just share knowledge, but um. Uh, yeah, man, this is my boy. Um, <laughs> he goes by Dino now, but I know that nigga is prune, man. This is my boy <laughs> prune, the Nagas, man. Bring my Stand nigga. Up. Up. <laughs> All right, Mister Mister Dino. What's up, what's up, what's man? up, what's up, what's up man? Down, man. man? I'm just chilling, man. I'm just chilling, man. How y'all doing, man? We're doing good, oh, man. man. Glad to have you, man. Welcome to hey, the you. Dreamers Club, baby. Oh man, oh, um, yeah, it's man. a pleasure to be here. Yes, oh, sir. Yeah. yeah. Man, uh, how how was your Easter, bro? I know Easter just passed the last, but how was your Easter? Oh man, it, it was it was pretty good, man. I had some uh unexpected death on that Good Friday, oh, so you know, hard to hit it. Other man. than that, man, you know, it was good, man. We here, you know. Yeah, that's that's why yeah. my uh my great aunt had passed the week before weekend before Easter began, so. Yeah, yeah, bro. It, it, my it actually was my great aunt that, yeah. that I did uh on Good Friday. So that's wild as hell. Yeah, crazy, bro. God bless them, man. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. Ain't gotta pay no taxes no more, so you know. <laughs> hey. You gotta keep going, bro. <laughs> that's you gotta it, keep man. Going. Oh, yeah, so, that's it. man. So this is crazy. Um, you're not the first guest, but. You know, I, I always I always wanted to bring like somebody, and I, when I probably I probably will bring more guests on that are are barbers. You know what I'm saying? Me being in the barber industry, uh, being my you know my main career, um, you know we can we can talk about this. We can talk about this shit all day. You know, uh, the ins and outs of this shit. But um, you know, and I definitely like I like you know we were just saying before you jump in we. We're a podcast about promoting black businesses. Like that's one of our main things that we do. Um, and you know, 
I you know I did I I've always since we started wanted to you know of course promote barbers or you know just the barber industry in general um so I'm 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 glad that you you know what I'm saying nigga that I actually because I don't fuck with too many barbers you know right right um so I'm glad it could be you bro like for real um I appreciate you taking the time out with us today yeah man um, just like I say it's it's a pleasure bro you know no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. I could be a Oh man, all this love and unity, man. And I was like, hey, what a cutoff. We need to have a cutoff. <laughs> See, <I'm>, nah. <laughs> <laughs> cut off. I pitch you niggas yeah. against each other. <laughs> oh man, man. Look, man, it's enough. I can't cut everybody head, man. That's how I am. I can't cut everybody head. Yeah, you be the cop the carpal tunnel or something. Man. <laughs> Listen, man, somebody I, look, it's enough out there for me. Oh yeah. There's okay. enough one out here, man. Come so on, gee, man. I, I know kind of when you started your your career and your journey. About what year was it, or when did you know that that was gonna be your your next step of what you wanted to be? Well, man, like I said, I've been cutting hair products since I was like fifteen, you know. So I'm like, I'm thirty two now, for sure. So it's been, you know, I'm saying like sixteen years now. So it kind of was like, bro, I'm gonna be honest, I really ain't know what I was gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Because I had like a couple jobs, yeah, like before I even got into it full time, you know what I'm saying? So. It just was like, I ain't going to lie, like a pastor had told me that I was supposed to be a barber. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know how you kind of just be running from the, running from That's what you know you're supposed to be doing. You'll come so like I, say, I ain't, you know, people, people around me made me kind of feel like being a barber, I wasn't going to be able to make enough money and stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. you know, we here, man. I just stepped out on faith. Man, that's blessings for yeah. real. Yeah. That's a hard thing to do. For oh yeah, like I like I say, I quit my job and everything. Like it, it was all with, yeah. And just went to I ain't I ain't even know. Like it kind of the job I had before I stepped into it. It started like how I kind of knew it started. Kind of my job started interfering with me cutting hair. Mm. So I was just like, you know, man, I'm just gone. And you felt you felt inside. You was like, damn. Well, I'm more way more passionate about. It. Couldn't head in his in his funky yeah. ass job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, but but what's crazy? I remember when that nigga was still working, and I was telling him, man, look, bro, I'm telling you, it's like that. Like, yeah, it's yeah. gonna change your life. It's gonna change your life. That's what I told him exactly. It's, it's, you can change. You can really literally jump in this shit if you good and you consistent and you always, you know, in the shop, bro. You can literally jump in this shit and it can change your life in a year financially. Oh yeah, I know. yeah, Either, you know what I'm saying. And it's crazy because I was the same way. I was, you know, you know, when I was working Burger King, Wendy's, all mm -hmm. this shit. Yeah. And it's like I remember I, I would be, I would neglect cutting hair. Like sometimes I wake up on my off day, supposed to cut hair, don't cut hair. Mm. All them jobs got took from me. So it was just like it was kind of like it was kind of like this it chose me yeah but i don't know it's it's um it's crazy it's similar to his stories because it's like i was like man i don't want to keep working these dead end jobs right. you know what I'm saying? i want to have a career you know some uh, and i always did i wanted to do something to make a career of something that i like or love doing so um i just stopped sleeping on it man and went for full head of steam in it that's it, man. Yeah, Living yeah. that rich dream, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Hell yeah. yeah. That's exactly, yeah. you know, what we embody, man. Doing something that you love and making it be, you know, a means of supporting yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all the way live, man. So you cut out where? Are you in Dallas as well, area, or where are you at? No, I'm in Nagadish. I'm in uh, Nagadish, Louisiana. Okay. Like four, yeah, like four hours from, uh, from Dallas. Yeah. Okay. All right. So only only barbershop that I, I really know now. I've been I've been removed from Nagas for a Nagy. couple of years. It's Hair Jordan. So is you up yeah. at Hair Jordan or no no at? no see I started <laughs> off in, uh, now I started off in the I got my own spot now but I started off at uh platinum cuts okay and uh I cut over there probably like a year and a half you know what I'm saying and you know they kind of uh everybody in there helped me you know grow to be what I am today you know what I'm saying shout out 
Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Y'all had some of that barbershop type environment, like the movie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's funny though, bro, because me and him, we talk, we you know, we'll talk every so often, like just about what goes on in the barber game. Yeah. And it's like the barbershop is funny, bro, because I didn't been I've been now three different three different uh environments as far as barbershop. Sure. And it's like it's it's all the same type of people, bro. In every shop, I, you only been to one shop. Yeah, that's you all. Know, I all it, that's one. the only person I ever cut okay. with. Okay, the same okay. Three people. So me going from two, me, me being in two traditional shops, it's like you see the same type of people, bro. Right. You see those people that that's talented as hell, but they don't want to get their ass up to the shop. You see. Oh, wow. You know, you see, you see the ones that's complaining about they ain't making no money, but they ain't they ain't at the shop, or they only want to cook four or five days a week and don't want to stay late. You know what I'm saying? And you see, you see some niggas in there that's there every day that'll stay late, that come in on Sundays. Oh yeah, I come in on Mondays. Lunch, the lunch pail, motherfucker. You gonna yeah. get it. now? That's the nigga, and he. I'm telling you, bro, and he can attest to this. He ain't even that dude. Don't even have to be super nice. He gonna make him some. He gonna make some money, right? Because he just and grind. He, yeah, no, he just he's gonna be there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's you know, a, one, a character I always see when I go in the shop. Always the loud mouth man, the one that's on the phone while he cutting the hair, <laughs> trying to trying to conversate, converse with all the ladies as they come through and everything, man. Right, right, right. You know. That's the that's the that's the juice that, that I always catch, man. I, mean, I, I love catching that character. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Nah, there's some characters in that shop, bro. I ain't lying. He from the customers to the to the to the barbers, man. I ain't lying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's different. You meet a lot of different, you know, different people. So right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So you say you got your own suite now. And yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, I got my own suite now. I probably done had it like eight, nine months now. Hell yeah, you know yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So, as soon as I got my license, I, you know, I end up getting into my own little suite, you know. But, uh, you know, it's cool, you know, sometimes being up in there by myself, you know. But, you know, man, I was kind of used to the barbershop feel. So, yeah, I, I be missing them boys sometimes because I don't really get, you know, I, I got a good relationship with my clients, but it ain't nothing like that barbershop. Right. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you know, and it's like you might fuck with another nigga client heavy, like mm -hmm. this yeah. talking shit. man. That's yeah, bro. Yo, you know, yeah. you, like it's like you. I do miss that shit too. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like you know, you usually when you working with a group of people, you mm -hmm. know, it's certain people gonna come in there that gonna pick your brain. Certain people gonna come in there you gonna bullshit with certain people you come in there. Y'all gonna argue, you know. But it's all yeah. love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know, now it's just like. All my clients, they like my friends, you know what I'm saying? So right. we, it ain't no, you know, I don't have like that kind of like where we be having confrontations about yeah. uh, sports and stuff like that because all my clients, they just like, they kind of like everything I like. Like, okay. it's like all my clients are like a reflection of me, you know what I'm saying? Makes bro, sense. Bro, when I said this, I told, I told my partner this back in Shreveport like a few years ago. I said, bro, and I never, me and you never even talked about nothing like this. Right. I told this nigga, I said, bro, my nigga John T, I said, bro, the clients you have, you're going to attract the type of, the type of person you are, you're going to attract them same type clients mm. for the most part. Yeah. For the most part. You're going to yeah. attract the same people that are like-minded like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You and that could be different things because you know everybody's multi-dimensional. So right, right. You yep. probably got some some clients that appeal to you. Okay, it's just a chill vibe, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. You got some that might appeal to you. You know, a little bit more amped up vibe. Levels. Connect on different levels. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that's funny that you say that. that I, I really believe in that, bro. Like I really believe, like you know, if like say if you street dude, right, like, being in the streets and all that. Right, you right. don't have them type of clients. That's well, just what it, client. <laughs> it's just what it is. Like, yeah, yep. that's why. Like all the street, all the street clients, they gonna be with the the barber that you know in the streets. Steve, you the know field. what I mean? <laughs> it's just how it is. Like they adapt to that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, it just that's just how it is. 
you could probably do anything at his shop. You know what I'm saying? Good. AI shooting dice and whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know, all it, all that. Yeah. It, it is what it is. Like, so that's yeah. a beautiful thing, though. Oh, so, yeah, most definitely. So, within missing out on that camaraderie, I'm assuming when you go from a traditional shop setting to your own suite, there's a bigger dividend for yourself because you're not, I guess, paying the rent or how, how does it work? I'm, well, I see. Really well, it's. it's I'm going to say it is like, and you know, it's not like just trying to sound cocky. It's kind of like being blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing really changed. You know what I mean? Because yeah. just because the area we in, it ain't really like very expensive out here. Yeah. So, you know, the little money that I spend a month on my suite is around the same thing that I paid, boo -rent. The, you know, my booth rent, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of like it, it just really just balanced out. Like I'm just now I'm just alone instead of in yeah. the, the shop atmosphere. Okay, so it's just more so about building your own personal brand. Yeah, and you know, and that's you know it, that's kind of what it was. Like it wasn't that I wanted to leave because you know we it had wasn't. problems or nothing. It wasn't yeah. nothing like that. It's all love. It was For like sure. I just knew what I wanted to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I had moved away. I had moved to Baton Rouge. And I'll never forget uh when I moved back, I had wrote on a little sticky note. And I, I had it on my on my mirror uh, in the bathroom. And it was like, I'm gonna be the best barber when I move back to negative. Mm. And I'm gonna get my own suite. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna like you that. know what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And you know, I just I I, I kept it. I still got it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I moved back and all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I kept that with me so I can always remember like what I was set out to do when I get back. You know what I mean? Whew. So, and you know, and it just kind of, you know, it's it started because it was kind of slow at first. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I had a little cousin that uh played on the basketball team and okay. he was kind of like a little star. All so right. I knew one thing, I was cutting, I was cutting him and his little brother half for free. Yeah, I knew one thing is that if I can get them to go to school with these they houses, yeah. I'm finna pop out. Yeah, every, that's, straight, that's straight marketing, right? You there. know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. straight marketing. Like I said, I just took off like a rocket. It was like a like a rocket, bro. Like no <laughs> lie. You know yeah, what I'm like, and I never look back. You, you definitely. If you a kid, you see like, damn, he star on the basketball team. Look, he getting all the girls. Yeah. yeah. I need to see if I can get it. my shit like you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying, like I say, it's all marketing scheme. You know it what is. I mean? Yeah, it's all it. marketing scheme. You know, so that's I, right. that's, that's, right. that's 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 similar to what I used to do, like cutting in the dorms. You know what I'm saying? Cutting in frog pond. I cut Marco hair. Yeah, yeah. Marco, he on the football team. He yeah. know everybody on campus. So right, yeah, bro. You you hey, that's that can take you a long way itself. Like fuck social media. Like, couldn't somebody hear that know a lot of people that's yeah. popular or yeah, word of mouth? Word of mouth, bro. Like that's still that's still that's still a real thing for real. Oh, yeah. And like I must that's like to thing. piggyback off of what he just said. So like this year, yeah, this year or last year. So your uh, handsome one on that guy, he had yeah. came he came to the college well in that where I'm where I'm cutting it. So I knew one thing, and I didn't even know if I was going to be able to cut them. You know what I'm saying? But I knew that I was kind of, my I had a little buzz going. You know what I'm saying? So I cut another dude that played on the team. So <clears throat> I got this guy that me and G know from Houston. His name JC. Shout out JC. JC, JC uh, he from Houston. And... But he from he from Nagelich also, you know what I'm saying? So he ended up getting in contact with him first. So uh what happened was so JC ended up coming down. JC hit me. He was like, say, you know, bro, uh, can I use the shop? I'm gonna cut a uh, house of hell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I ain't gonna even lie. And I told JC this. I, I had felt some kind of way. Right, because I felt like you know I was on in the city. I felt like that was that was supposed to be me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no lie, 
and I and I forever I'm forever thankful for JC and it's always love because I let him use the shop mm -hmm. and soon as Hansa came in this is no lie that boy ain't say what's up or none of that he would like say that's Dino I'm not from here this who gonna be cutting your hair and uh so I was like I ain't even saying nothing I was like dang that's crazy yeah. but he all but I had wrote house like one like one time on Instagram but he never got back with me yeah so but on that on that on that day I guess he thought JC wasn't coming and mm -hmm. that boy ended up hitting me back and like I say me being the person that I am I could have cut him but yeah. I told him I was like nah bro I know JC you know he probably in a bad service area you know you just we just gonna wait on him type you know what I'm saying right, right, right. So that's how that happened and like I just from there I end up cutting him after that you know so I cut him like about five or six times but how my schedule was and how his schedule was we never was you know but it was just a good experience that I was able to cut somebody of that caliber yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying real stand up he real stand up guy cool people you know yeah. what I'm saying so and that's a shout out to to JC man for yeah for shout out right to JC. Yeah. Hoop, man. yeah straight yeah. alley hoop bro you gotta yeah. give him a second man you know he can't hey man I all the haters out here man oh yeah haters man yeah man we ain't doing no hating hell no yeah. no followers that's it man so that's a cool deal um so you're making that name for yourself getting your suite established um and that definitely sets you apart from other barbers, I'm sure, especially in the Nagatish area, because I don't think it's many, many guys doing that out that way. What's uh is that kind of the the start off to something else, or do you, uh, how, uh, how do you see it say, going in the future? Well, I'm gonna say uh, you know, shout out to all the barbers in that's in the area, in Nagatish area, you know uh they know it's all love with me but me personally i don't see myself you know like cutting for like 20 more years okay you know what i'm saying like because i'm 32 years old right now bro so by the time i'm 42 43 like i ain't gonna want to be doing it you know what i'm saying so i probably was my plan i was gonna get my instructor license and around 42 43 i was just gonna put it up and i was just gonna give back and try to get a game to other people you know what i'm saying and try to become an instructor and you know teach at one of them technical colleges or something like that you know oh, man. that's fine Huh? That's you kind better, of, that's you better kind of, than me, boy. I couldn't be no motherfucking instructor, man. <laughs> man, man look, kind of I, I you know, I've been, you know, I, I went to barber school, man, telling them niggas that were just coming in there, and you know, probably some of them ain't never touched a pair of clippers, having to tell them, hey, do this, do this, do every time. I'm like, bro, I can't keep repeating this, I can't do it. <laughs> but now, nah, nah, that's, that's commendable, though, bro, because. They, it, it need, they need more they need more um people like like you you know what i'm saying right, like, right. like me like who can really ain't we don't look we ain't in competition with nobody you know what right, I'm saying? Right. we got we in our own lane and i think they need to it's a lot of barbers out here that think that they're in competition with the next barber or you know they're trying to outdo the next barber my whole thing is and i've always been this way it's like if you focus on what the next person is doing how you gonna focus on where you gonna go right you know what i'm saying so for if i were to be an instructor like that's you know that's kind of the game i'll be giving to them and you know also to you know be punctual you know have great customer service that type of shit. i think that'll go long that'll go that'll take them way further than me showing them any type of fade right those type of intangibles yeah yeah i like i feel like you know this shit just kind of like the same shit is like like working in a clothing store or some shit or like working at verizon or some shit right you right you gotta have like that good customer service like because nobody nobody won't gonna come fuck with you 
if you got bad customer service or you got bad time or say for instance like you got a booking out but shit, they are pumping at 11 35 but every time they come shit, they don't get in the chair to 12. you know what yeah. i'm saying like people ain't trying to fuck with that you know what i mean wow. mm -hmm. so like because we in a day and age now that it's like everybody's time is valuable you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And, then, and, and people want to come in get their cut and they get out the door like all that old extra you know man it just that's just how it is now you know yeah i just feel like shit, it just this is probably like some of the best shit that you can be in like i like this is the best i ever felt in my life for man me. tell them bro so, you know what i'm tell saying them, like this bitch pay more than like and i ain't even finna sit here and lie bro i had some good ass jobs bro like 30 hours type shit, you yeah. know what i'm saying and bro this shit, i can't make it up you know what i'm saying <laughs> it feel different bro it don't feel the same as that's what i always preach to people man like you know bro when you when you doing something you love and then let's say it's entrepreneurial wise like bro that's it's it's no better feeling than that man there's no yeah. better feeling than that you in total control of your uh your destiny yeah and you're doing good as fuck. yeah and like i say <laughs> and just like to go back off of what you had said about like you know what what more i would want to do like i said i probably would get into some shit like real estate or something too you know what i'm saying just somewhere i could keep being like an entrepreneur for sure yeah. you know what i'm saying like because i just know i i can't go back to getting a job you know okay. You know, so yeah. you know, letting you know to keep reinvesting in yourself. Yeah. Hey, a job or oh, what? <laughs> yeah. but, I, so I'll never fill out another application. Not yeah. to knock anybody that got a job, man. Uh, yeah, not to knock nobody that got a job. Know, you know, uh, you know, it's just a mentality that you have when I'm gonna speak for barbers. I ain't gonna just say entrepreneurs when you're a barber and you, you know, uh, you able to provide for yourself better than you've ever been, way better. It's a, you know it's a certain feeling that come with it you know a uh, certain uh, sense of pride um, you know you I hate to say this shit but you really feel like you got it out the mud that's kind of <laughs> but in a sense it's true though right like you yeah, had to build your, you had to build your clientele people one head by one head at a time yeah making something yeah. out of one head at a time you got to yeah. build your clientele up right so it's no you got feeling bro so I'm gonna say this, like just saying this, bro. Like back in the day before, because I cut at the shop two times, mm. and uh the first time I cut, bro, this is no lie. Bro, I used to go in there, go in there. I'm talking about, and I had a regular job then too, but I go in there like a couple days a week. You know what I'm saying? All I'm staying in there all day. Mm. End of the week, I I done made eighty dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Booth rent, I ain't even got enough of booth rent. So it ain't even, it really ain't even like helping me to even be there because I'm still pulling out my check to pay for the booth rent. Mm, man. I'm a work chick, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, man, that's why I tell people, like, my thing is, bro, just stay down, bro, and just keep yeah. grinding because, man, I done, I done been there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could have said, man, I ain't even gonna fuck with this no more. Right. But shit, I ain't I ain't do nothing last time. Like I was this shit, I was chap. You know what I'm saying? True. I mean, I ain't got nothing going. I'm True. looking at everybody else cut. You know what's like funny that. about that, bro? That's a that's what I always tell. I always tell young dudes that want to be a barber. What are you gonna do when you go in that bitch and the whole day you might cut one head? Real so, day, you might not cut nothing. You still gonna have that same fire to want to be a barber because they didn't told you, you know, online you can make this amount of money. See, this gonna this shit'll break you. This shit'll break you real, real quick if you ain't really if you don't really want it like that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that be hey, it'll get you right. Yeah, hell um, yeah, hell it'll get you yeah. right. Because like I say, man, I tell people, you know. You know how people be like, man, I got plan A, but then I got plan B. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But man, you come, it come a time in life where, bro, you just got plan A. Plan A got to work. Got to work. You yeah. got to work. When A, we ain't even going to B because A got to work. You plan, you plan, if you make a plan B, you plan to fail. Yeah, bro. And you can't, we can't do that. 
and then that's taking it to another dimension too. Again, going back to when you branch out and get to a suite, because you you staking it like, hey, I ain't worried about no walk in for whoever else, yeah. just because they see this shot. I know they come in, they coming to see me, right, they right, because they know this is the place you need to be at, right, and that, and 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 that's just kind of you know, that's why I say that's where it come in with like stepping out on faith, bro, because man, I ain't know, I ain't know what what was gonna happen, you yeah. know what I mean. I, it could have went. It could have went a whole nother way. I could have left the shop, and they was like, "Man, I ain't finna. I ain't fucking with Dino like that. I ain't going over there." Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to book on the app where I could just walk in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a lot of stuff that could have happened with me. You know what I'm saying? For me to fail, bro. But you know. Man, they rocking with me, and I, I shout out to all my clients for real. Oh, I love you know the what I'm lawyers, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love. Shit, as you know, I made the same transition. I think a little bit after you did. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was that was something. You know, that's something that you that you think about. You know, you want you like you say, like he said, he had you know this shit written down before it happened. You know, uh, yeah. I'm the same way with like a lot of my you know my big goals, my big account. Uh, big things that i want to accomplish so um you know i had i moved to dallas couldn't shop for a little minute and get a suit that was my whole thing and you know you got to think about okay i don't want to go too far away from my clients that i do have this just out here in dallas you know in in the mindset of a barber out here where at least me you know i don't want to go move too far away from my clients why they gonna come still rock with me you know it's a lot of things you think about when you um when you moving period you know right it could just be moving to another shop it's a lot that you um you know you got to think about it and, and and uh assess before moving right yeah 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 that's that's a big challenge man uh and that's it's a big challenge bro. That's something that you know that really shows that you believe in yourself like you said stepping out on that faith no oh yeah you know, oh yeah then i want to ask man um what was like, and it could have been what you was explaining about, you know, a week where you had somebody come in and you just barely had enough to make the booth room. But what's been your biggest challenge or adversity that you faced in becoming a barber? Oh, uh, I think just, I'm going to just say like, off of just like off of clients. Like, I think the biggest challenge that I've, face so far is like managing the money mm. because the money because the money comes so fast right. you know what i'm saying so you like man shit. i i could spend i can go buy these jars because she yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make this back next week right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh, I'm, oh i can go buy these because i'm gonna make this back next week yeah. like that's that's kind of and like the first like first four or five months you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was, I wasn't even thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, we gonna, I'm, I'm running it back. Yeah. Do you, you know do, what do I'm you get your, uh, you get your payments in cash for the most part or a uh, card? Yeah. Uh, cash and yeah, uh, do it to you every time. Yeah. yeah, cash and cash app. So, but what yeah. I, what I started doing now is this: I don't spend no money during the week, bro. Like, <sighs> probably. Like no, the money that I'm making that in that week, I ain't gonna never touch it, mm. never. Like no cash up, none of that. I but I used to like I was on my way to the crib, I stop by the store, spend a little twenty, stop by the store, get some gas, yeah. you know, running Walmart, something like you know, something like that. So now I don't even do yeah. it. Like so, I put my money in the bank on that Monday or whatever. And like I, if I need to buy some stuff, I'll probably do it like on a Monday or Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't cut, I don't cut like five, six days a week. I only cut four days a week, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Wednesday through Saturday. So that's kind of just so my Monday and Tuesday, that's kind of like, you know, my yeah, me time. days where I, you know, handle business right. and stuff like that, you know. But like that that was like the hardest adjustment that I had to make. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's it's yeah. it's one thing to have your money just direct deposited. You know exactly you how know. much is in there, so you know how to budget into the next one. 
Oh, right. You talking? Shoot, one week, you know, you can make. I'm gonna just say a random number. You can make ten G's one week. For most right. people, that's like two months of salary. Yeah, we was like, shit, I might make this again this week. Oh shit, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, I can remember when I when I used to have a lot of cash. This is back when I was in Shreveport. I would uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch any of it throughout the whole week too. And I would deposit it all Saturday. Anytime I would buy something, I would just use my card. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I moved out here, what made me go to mobile pay? Um, when I moved out here, bro, it was like people would book me like on Friday, Saturday, you know, busy, you know, that's barber busiest days normally. They would book me, not say anything, you know, not show up, not cancel on the app, nothing. So I was like, man, fuck that shit. Y'all, you can't be playing with my time on Friday and Saturday. Right. Um, and I went to mobile pay, you know, and it works better. It, it worked good for me. Um, and I just have a certain amount transferred from uh my business account to my personal each week. I, I just set it at a certain don't matter if I make way more, I'm just still gonna set it at that certain amount. That way I can build my business account. Um and still, like, I really don't give a fuck about my checkers account, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just, you know, put back, save a certain amount. How do you do your saving, bro? Like, you know, you do every kinda week like, or per like month that. or? Like, like, every week type okay. shit, you know what I'm Same saying? Here. Put, like, a certain mm-hmm. amount of that, you know. Yeah, so yeah. Take it from that. That's from another that. thing. That's another thing that young barbers need to learn, man. If you're going to be spending... That's cool to spend shit you working for it, but make sure you being a barber, make sure you you gotta make sure you put money back, man. Uh, you know, ain't no telling what could happen. You know, your clippers might fuck up one day. You gotta buy four, five hundred dollar pair of clippers. Right. You know, it's no yeah. telling your chair might break. That's five, six hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to save a certain, I would say save a certain amount each week, like. Yeah, yeah. That's an important teaching tool, man. Like, as you are operating your own business, you need to mm-hmm. have that thought processes of, okay, business has expenses, you know. Mm-hmm. I always have, have it to where you can, you can be in the black, as they call it, which means you always got some type of profit. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a cool mm-hmm. thing, man. I feel like being an entrepreneur kind of teaches you a different level of money management period. Uh, right. uh, management, management period. Yeah. You know, it's not, yeah. <laughs> and you ain't got nobody telling you no, uh, no incentives to, to get the work. Cause you might get your ass fired. It's, it's really everything on you, you know? Um, and like I said, another, uh, another thing I say, you know, young, I'm going to say for like young barbers, like I would say go into a shop because it's going to have somebody in that shop that's a great businessman. Like it's going to have one person in that shop that's like great with being. Mm. And it, he, the person that's in that shop that's like that, he always going to gravitate to a person that he feel like hungry to. So my, like, that's why I say with like, with my situation, I knew I wasn't going to fail because I had watched somebody that's like a businessman. Like, you know, he going to stand on business. He going he gonna to keep something going on, you know. So it's like I learned a lot from him. Like, and it just wasn't him telling me nothing. It's me like watching, just watching what yeah. he got going on. You know what I'm saying? But he did, you know, he did give me a lot of, a lot of game and stuff like that too, though. You know, so. Like I say, if it, I, th- I feel like if it wasn't for him, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't be able to run the run my business the way I do, which because the certain you know certain things how he you know maneuvered in the shop or how he was there early, you know what I'm saying. It had started to when before I was getting ready to leave, me and him was like, who gonna get here first? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, like you know because you know we had locked in, you know because it was just like. I'm guessing he's seen the hunger in me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's seen that, you know, I, I wanted I wanted to do what he had going on, you know. And yeah. it's, it's love, bro. Yeah. You know, like I like I say, man, he kind of uh one of the 
probably the biggest, you know, black entrepreneurs in in the area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I said, I just always would, you know, I appreciate them for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just, no showing, just showing somebody the game, like you. And certain people don't even show people the game like they that. Don't. Who are we talking about now? Who are we talking about? No, I'm talking about talking about Hav. Hav. Okay. Hav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh I know I don't know him personally, but I of course I didn't heard of him. Shout out to Hav, man. Yeah, man. Shout out that boy, man. That boy like real business minded, man. Like he gon', you know. That's, that's a big up. deal, man. A lot of our generation, I think we feel like there was a, wasn't a lot of mentorship and passing down with certain right, skills right, and things. Right. Like it almost seemed like there was some trade secrets that that we weren't supposed to have the keys to or something like that. So, oh yeah, yep. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's a good thing that we we taking that stance and when you have somebody and you keeping that mindset of hey, I got poured into, let me pour into somebody else. Yeah. Right. Keep it going right. Like that. I think like like he said, uh, I think it's also about seeking it. You yeah. know, um, like he said, you go into a shop, it's gonna be somebody up in there that you can look at. If you're a new barber, it's gonna be somebody in there that you, that you can look at and be like, "Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I want to get my shit like him." Man. I had, I had that. I didn't have that in Shreveport because we were all new barbers. It's crazy. It's like I never heard of no shit like this. Like we was all fresh out of school Damn. in a bar. We had no vet in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like we used to be. Yeah. Bro, but I was in there cool. giving it like Memphis, huh? It was cool, Young books out here. It was cool though, <laughs> you know. But I didn't have that in Shreveport. But when I moved out here, and these guys, they've been in the shop. I moved out here. I only had one year under my belt. I move out here. These guys for five, six years, ten years, you know. So I'm, you know, like, 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 like they don't say shit. When you first get in the shop, you it's gonna be you're gonna be looking at niggas cutting most of the time, right? Yeah, especially coming from out of town, yeah, or just starting in the game, you're gonna yeah. be looking at niggas cut. And they got me, all I'm, yeah, I'm observing everybody, seeing how they okay, yeah. He he could he got certain days where he be booked up. Yeah, he mm -hmm. doing shit though, he doing shit, but it was like the owner of the first shop that I was at, and then this other cat from New Orleans. Them dudes used to stay booked up. Mm. Chad, the dude from New Orleans, he'll be in uh, my boy Al. Shout out to Al. He'll be in that bitch to 10, 11 at night. Couldn't have came at 5, 6 in the morning, nigga. I'm talking about on the regular, nigga. Like, Man. You know, that's, like you said, these the guys, like, I looked up to them as far as, like, I want to get my clientele like this. I want to be booked up like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to have something to look up to and be like, I want to reach that level. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like, you know, on the business side, I had um, my school, my school uh, instructor. He was the dude that made me believe that you can really make a good living uh, being a barber. Like you always see it online and all of that. But I got to see him in person and I got to see him do it. He brought other students, for, former students around that's making, you know, six figures or close to six figures. You know what I'm saying? So um yeah bro you 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 gotta seek that though right you gotta seek the knowledge man um and, and just pay attention to your surroundings like like you say he didn't ask him no shit. he just he just sat there and listened or sat there and paid attention to homie yeah just gotta seek it man yeah you got to go after bro. what you want man hell yeah yeah it's just it's like anything in life bro yeah. like it's always it's always gonna like anything you do bro it's always gonna be somebody around you that's like do they do the best at that job right. or do the best at whatever they doing and if you want to be the best bro all you got to do is just watch yeah, don't go in there with that know-it-all mentality yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying you ain't even you ain't even got to ask them for nothing you can really just be on some just you know slick watching mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? and they ain't never you and them ain't never got to say nothing to each yeah. other yep and even if no, you do so. ask a question, I feel like most people, when you approach it in a humble mindset of, hey, oh, yeah, I, I'm help. new, I'm, I'm here to learn and soak up everything I can, most people, especially veterans, they're going to respect it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. So, you know, man, I got I got a couple questions for you, man, before we segue into sports over here. Okay, okay. Um, one, I want to know, what was 
what was your like what was your cleanest cut the one that's like that like is like most memorable to you man i got a cup okay i ain't gonna lie. i got I mean, the couple. top three man Woo. i'll say i say man i had cut the dude dreads off uh shout out that boy pat he had some long dreads man he had like you think he had dread probably about six seven years mm. and cut the dreads off and um I think man that, that video on my IG went like I probably got like five, six thousand views on it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And uh I'll say uh I got this little kid that I could that's some man. pressure though. Let me look, look I can't I can't just gloss over you cutting the dreads, man. That's pressure because you get <laughs> you the first hat cut after the dreads, that gotta make a statement. That gotta be like that gotta make a statement. He told me, uh, he told me that he would go. He had went to like three places, Ooh. and they were like, "Man, I seen you on uh Instagram, man, with that haircut, man, man, that boy, man, who that boy yeah. is? That cut, right? Man. You know what I'm saying? But you know, and that that, that kind of made me smile. What's but what's crazy? That boy, that growing dread back now. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, right. I swear to nigga. Did, did, he, did he keep the locks? Did he keep his original? Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably did a real Yeah, he gonna probably just get a real uh, text. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And uh I'll say I had this next cut where well, this little boy, and I ain't gonna say it like my best cut. I'm gonna just say that it kind of meant a lot to me because uh I've been cutting him since he was like one or two. And like he got autism, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. But he got autism like bad, you know what I'm saying. Well, I got two kids that got autism, but this this one in particular, he was like a little baby, like one or two, mm-hmm. and he wouldn't let me cut his hair for nothing at all, bro. And now it's just like now he come in, give me a dab, get in the chair, I cut his hair, he go on by the business, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And it's just like. That's, that's the kind of stuff that kind of just keep me going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, that's somebody that, you know, I'm going to be with, you know, until he 18 or 19, until he, you know, move out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and uh, that's that's probably how I'd be. I would, I'm going to say that one, number that's one. Yeah. Right you know what I'm saying? But num- that number two is with the dreads, and I say three. Man, you know what we got to have, G? Next time we have a bar, we're gonna have to have let them know we might do something like this. Yeah, and have like yeah, submit some yeah, pictures, yeah, man. Yeah. So we can have yeah, 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 yeah. We, that we should have yeah, done this. Submit yeah, a yeah. picture, bro. You know what I'm saying? We we'll, we'll have to have you back one day, Dino. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, man. But I, I just say, I say, just because I think I'd have done a lot of good yeah. cooks, but I posted one today that a dude ain't have a hair cover like six, like five, six. I, I think I saw that, and I think I know that dude. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. okay, yeah. So I was like, uh, I used that one because I shook that boy back. That right. boy needed that. <laughs> boy came in there on straight K yeah, man vibes. Boy, boy. Swear, man, that boy, that boy, uh, grow a hair like he. I probably won't see him again for another five six. That's how he do it. My boy looked like he was still living in the pandemic, didn't he? I got a cover like that. That's how that boy do it. My home boy, I got a home boy. He told me that. that uh, well, I don't know. Can I, can he, you say his name? That was one cute. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that boy said my homeboy talking about that boy really was trying to grow his hair back where he could put it in a ponytail. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> that little boy, that boy, that crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. I went dude. straight through the music. Oh, that's crazy as hell, man. All right, man. Um, so, so you say you say you cut four days a week, right? Yeah. Okay. I had a question for you because I know this shit happened to me every so often. I could like. I cut six unless like I got like go out of gotta go out of town or some shit like that. But uh um, right. man, do you ever go through the burnout phase, bro? Boy, man. man. All the time, I, bro. I, I, yeah, I ain't gonna bro. even lie. I, I, I used to I, think I, it was only look. me with that shit, but man. <laughs> look, I know and I'ma say this too, but that's just like to go back off of with the being in the shop with somebody like when you in there by yourself bro you be like golly you know what i'm saying yeah nah nah i um man i i you know and it's 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 crazy because like i remember when i first became a boy bro i used to be on some shit like man 
I don't know when I'm going to take a week vacation or something like that. Or I ain't trying. I'm just trying to straight grind and do it. Man, I say by my second second year in this shit, because I was seven days a week for a while. I say by my second year, maybe midway, boy, I start getting burnt out, man. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I honestly, I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. Like, I for real, I probably it'll probably be about two, maybe two times a year that I that yeah. I get burnt out, bro. Damn. Like, hell, I, I would hell. think it'd be way more than that because. Hell nah, shit. I don't know, shit. It'd be my look because I'm just thinking, man. Hey, any any job I'd have had standing up, I'm like, man, that's a long time. Really if anything in six plus hours standing up, I'm like, Fuck. oh man, I'm talking about I get burnt out, and I I'd be like, man, I just need like a little weekend trip or something. Yeah, but, man, I think I, soon, man, I'm gonna have to take that seven days, man. You done took seven day vacation yet since you've been full time? Yeah, yeah. I, I took like five. I went to Disney World. Seven day vacations. Yeah, I think it probably was. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. You took, seven day. you took it one time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two. Okay. No, five Friday. Days, Friday. That basically some shit. Oh, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to soon, bro. I ain't lying, man. I take by three. Most I do is by three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had one more. Um, what would you say has been your most difficult cut, or is there one that you had like, man, white people? <laughs> Easy. I already said a Mexican nigga had you know, the white. Silk, the silk press, the silk press don't go down I easy. Give me a Mexican nigga any day of the week, nigga. Man, oh, swell, man. man, don't white. Hey, don't white people out? They do. Right. They no traction. You gotta, I you gotta, swear. and then you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta be able to do shit work. I, I know how to do shit work, but when I didn't, oh man, man, bro, all I'm gonna say is, is that he got this guy that cut a negative boy, this dude named George. Like he, he real TikTok famous. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Like if I get like a white person come in, you were sending to him. I'm, I'm a, I kind of no, I don't even send him to him. What I do, I kind of. When they come in, I'm gonna look at their head. I'm gonna go straight to that boy TikTok. I swear, and I'm gonna look at what kind of cut they want, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to visualize it, and I'm gonna go off of it. Yeah, like I, I'm like like, but the white because I, I got like I got like eight or nine white clients, so I know they head. Now. Yeah, so I it's cool. That's what it take. It take it take it take, it take getting to know their head a little longer than like you can get, we can yeah. give a black person a cold ass cut first time cutting their hair. Yeah, you probably ain't gonna do that. Like being a black man, ain't doing that. Gotta that. Easy too, you know? Deal with a lot of them. You gotta easy, bro. Too. You gotta cut them by two or three times before you get the. You know what I'm saying? Get the really know. Okay, well, I can do this with this with this shit. I can right, take man. this guard up this high. I can. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it take a, it take a couple times though. But the first time, man, you you just get you just get an edge up, bro. That's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> now you gonna give them a cut, but everything yeah, gonna be. It ain't gonna be. And like I said, it's not gonna be as if you done already cut them up. As it like pristine time. that you usually it's work. Gonna be some old, gonna be some a BS cut. Yeah, well, one of one, one of the ones that either mm-hmm. a two guard across. Yeah, the top yeah. yeah. Now, I might, I might, I might, I might get them. This is stage one, break. bro. I see you in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Now then they take about three weeks, three weeks to a month uh to, to come back. Yeah, they, they ain't don't come, come back every week, every two weeks most time. Right. They every three weeks. Unless they get real low yeah. fitness. So, yeah. Yeah. They every three, four mm-hmm. weeks. Yeah. You know, you ain't got that melanin minerals. That's what it is. And they, have, they, 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 like they and they pay good. They do. All of them too. <laughs> I love them. God bless, bro. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, That's all right, man. Cool. Hey, that's that's hey, that's the thing I love too. When you see a black business, it's usually very inclusive. Man. Ain't no exclusivity. Hey, the only color really matters green. You understand? At the end of the day, that's it. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's Dude, it. I think I think that's that's a good time to bring us to the black business shout out. Huh? Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, man, what's, what's give us the full name of your uh, are you are you are you you're sweet and everything? Oh, uh, yeah. So it's a uh, Precision Barber Lounge. Uh, I went with precision, 
you know what I'm saying, man? One night I'm just laying in the bed and it just popped in my head. And I just felt like that I I always was, I was trying to, my my aim was to be pre- precise. So I just went with precision barber lounge and it just kind of went from there, you know? Man. I just pray it continue to grow. God bless, man. On point. Precision. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. Established when? That's right there. Last, last year. Okay. Established 2022. Yeah. Yeah, what you were, what you were, what month you were last year? Bro, I, man, I, I swear I can't tell you. <laughs> I think I <laughs> whatever I, if, if, if he keep, I got out of there around the end of May. Like I well, I got into my suite around the end of May. Well, if he keep going, I I I can tell you because yeah. it's on now. I think you got I think you got in your suite a little bit before me, maybe like a month or two. Some shit. Uh, like yeah, anti broke barbers club. That's fine. Oh yeah, I think that's my little cousin right there. They look like him. Damn, that was a fire cut too. I had some foul on that. Yeah, man, that's a, like you're gonna see a lot of variations of what yeah. you do, man. That's a uh, Emmanuel right there. Uh huh. Yeah. That go to dread cut. I was telling y'all about. Wow. Okay, with the wrist. Hey, dream. shout out to the wrist dream yeah. though. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. That boy Don A. That's the nigga name, Don A. Yeah. 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 I remember that yeah. nigga. Um, he was playing for Lakeview. Yeah, this one right there. Whatever this one is. That one right there. Yeah, oh. the uh, left. The left yeah. right there. Whatever day that is. 51 weeks ago. A long time. Hey, hey you coming Jake up Curry. on the year then, nigga. Shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. May 3rd, 2022. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so it was like that next day, like May 4th. Okay. So you moved in a couple weeks before me. That's right. Yeah, it's about to be a year. Oh, man, this is special right here. We celebrating it's, the upcoming anniversary. Yeah, it's going to be a year uh, in a couple of days. I'm tripping. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. On Thursday. Two days, nigga. I might need to get a cake and some ice cream. And oh, that man. Cool. Shout out. For real. Happy for birthday. Real. Send this in the clip, man. Happy birthday to Precision Barber, man. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, Precision man. Barber yeah, Lamb. That's a, that's a, that's a big man. accomplishment, bro. You know, having your own business for a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. That, yeah, that's bro. crazy. I ain't even know. No doubt, I thought man. it was like eight, nine months. No downplay, bro. Be proud of yourself, shit. Fuck Hell yeah. Man. You know? Yeah, yeah. Do you know how you're doing the damn thing, baby? I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So yeah, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all follow my boy and tap in with the Precision Barber Lounge. That's gonna be out in the Nagadish area. Uh, if y'all don't know about Louisiana like that, that's an hour south of Shreveport. Um, <laughs> right, right between right. Shreveport and Alexandria, man. Yeah, yeah. we got here. Oh uh, man, so I got I got one more question, man. This is gonna, gonna get a little personal, man. So okay, um, I've been hearing this nickname. Where did Prune ah. come from, bro? <laughs> bro, I, <laughs> am, look, man, bro. I don't know, man. I got an uncle. I got an uncle, bro. I asked that boy. I asked that boy about that a while ago, and uh, bro, he still can't even tell me why. <laughs> I hate it though. You oh, had man, you had to be like in a tub or something when you was a baby and right. you got all weak. I don't know. I hate it, bro. I ain't finna sit here and lie to you. I don't even. I don't man. like. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If, if that boy G was my boy like that, man, I, I know him. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I know hey. don't even. Hey. I know See, don't even I'm glad. I'm glad. You, you ain't the only one here to do that. Like, huh? to you, man. Man, I get, huh? I get to do that because I'm the homeboy, man. I, 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 nobody else can't do it. That's the homie G right there, <laughs> man. Now, now, look, that's yeah, funny man. because I don't know where the hell G could come from neither, man. Like, mm. I don't, I, I, to this day, nigga, I don't know where that name came from, but damn, I, that was just a childhood nickname. You know how black folks do with, with the oh, nickname. Yeah, man. Man. Everybody got a nickname. Like, it don't, on, don't even make sense. <laughs> none. None. Man, none. that's why I hate it. I just, I just, I just, I just end up, uh, I said, man, I got to take it off, man. So my partner started calling me Jab, and then this this girl, my cousin, my, see, my daddy actually name is Dino. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call my daddy for short. 
So the girls start calling me, my cousin, she started calling me Jab Dino. Okay. And my well, I had a partner that just was like, man, just started calling me Dino and it just stuck. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Carrying on the legacy. Yeah. Oh, shit. So. I thought that was your middle name or some shit. Nah, bro. They, I got that from my dad. Okay. Bro. Hey, what's the name? What's the name? Yo, yes, yo, yes, yo, these Brittany did that. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. she started calling me Jab Dino. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a bit, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, That's what what what, what, your, what your Lakers gonna do, man? What they gonna do? Bro? Well, huh? man, I, I don't know, bro. I just the hope Warriors, bro. You know, yeah. Steph ain't. I mean, he just dropped a fifty ball on these niggas. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm scared too. I ain't gonna lie. I had Kyle and told my daddy. I said, oh, <laughs> man, I'm scared. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off. I ain't yeah, never rooted for Sacramento so strong, boy. I was... Man, I swear. Boy, y'all <laughs> niggas ain't shit. Hey, man, I went in there. Hey, what's his name? I'm like, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. Man, it's a bonus. 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 It's a he ate on Sabonis. I don't know what. Like Sabonis, you is a nigga that get a lot of rebounds. Yeah, he 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 right. have a triple double every once in a while. Everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know what happened. Sabonis ain't had nothing going <laughs> on. He going yesterday. Well, <laughs> damn thing. So so uh, De'Aaron Fox, huh? Yeah. And he out there with a broke finger and shit. He's still doing his thing, man. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie, man. I thought they were gonna be still man. though. I and then Monk was, was out there going crazy. Monk, Malik Monk. Yeah, yeah. He was straight Lakers too. should have kept boy. Y'all should have kept Monk, man. We should have kept all. We should have kept say, Julius. We should have kept. Well, uh, I think. Well, I think y'all though. probably could have got Monk for. Well, I mean, Julius was gone. He was gone. Yeah. Oh, I don't think. I don't think Monk would have. I don't think we should have kept Kuz all of them. Nah, I don't think we should have kept none of them boys. You want to know why? Oh, yeah. Because the team they got right now. It's like a good team. Well, I just I don't really I don't really mess with D Lo though. Don't like D-Lo. But, you Sometimes know. they I feel like I wish, they, I wish we would have got Kyrie. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, that's on, next year, man. That's next year. Yeah, y'all need to make sure because he definitely not staying out here. He definitely not staying out here. <laughs> nah. We'll trade him for D Lo. We'll get y'all D Lo. That's, that's fair. That's fair. I don't know about that. That shit ain't fair. <laughs> nah, that shit ain't fair, nigga. <laughs> it ain't fair. <laughs> nah, I man, I think I think the Lakers need to stick with D Lo though, man. I think I think Kyrie will come over there and fuck shit up for y'all, man. I'm 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 being honest. So. LeBron on his way out. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about and Anthony two Davis years? has proven he can't be he can't huh? got about two more years. Now he gonna he gonna leave because ain't no way Bron getting drafted to the Lakers. Yeah, he gonna have to leave. Yeah, hey man, there's always a way now. No, no. Well, unless no, they need more. The he can go undrafted. Yeah, he can and they gonna make sure he don't go undrafted. Yeah, yeah he ain't gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he gonna be, he gonna make he gonna be like number five. People. You know what I'm saying? Some calls, some calls is gonna get made. That's all I'm saying. Where he gonna where he gonna play at? What school he playing at? He committed anywhere yet? I don't, think so. I don't know what bro got either. going on with this. Damn. They say no, he they they uh saying I read the other day on Facebook they talking about don't count Memphis out. Mm. But I can't see him playing with no Memphis. Memphis. That would be awkward. <laughs> Cause he him him and Mike ain't getting together. Mike and wanna be a shooter. Who is that? Mike and Williams. Which one is that? Who is that? Is he he's still in a uh, high school or something? He is still in high school, mm-hmm. yo. He want to be NBA young boy. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Boy, you gotta we got another John Morant coming. Huh? <laughs> boys want to be boys, <laughs> boys want to be street niggas. Got all this talent, man. Real, 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 real. It all trying to be street, <laughs> man. Man, goddamn, that boy Josh be tripping, man. I don't know what's up with. How y'all feel about that boy Dylan Brooks? Man, <laughs> garbage. garbage. Big garbage. Yeah, he, I, I mean, honestly, Baines. Like I feel like Baines. He said the shit. 
Like he said some shit like that, and he played worse than he ever than he played the other few games. <laughs> that boy like, say, "I don't respect you unless you give me forty. He ain't, I don't think he scored twenty in a game. <laughs> that boy ain't get no high to eight. Man, <laughs> he ain't do shit the rest of the series at these. He shouldn't say that shit. And then gonna say the media trying to paint, nigga. You said this. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's man. wild, man. Hell yeah. Hopefully that's a lesson, man. That's a humble pie lesson that they eat. I hope for the whole team. The yeah. niggas are all just, too arrogant. They, they really all... get focused. Like, they are talented as hell. I hope that they really are. focuses them in and just be like, okay, we need to really just play. And shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. then we can talk about yeah. shit once we win something. Exactly. Go some win. Like, you ain't been past the second round. <laughs> what <are we> talking <laughs> about? <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about? Yeah, John talking about he ain't worried about nobody in the he West. He cool. Yeah, but say he he good in the West. He good in the West. <laughs> Crazy. You ain't pop. <laughs> good as gone to Cancun. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what it's gone. Yeah, him and Giannis. Yeah, him and Giannis over there. Yeah, Call him and Giannis and Damian Lillard. They ain't been gone. They ain't, matter of fact, they ain't back home by now. You know, they left super <laughs> early. <laughs> <laughs> Dame, 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 Dame played shit the last, last week of the, of, the, uh, of the year. He played. He that boy done that shit for the past two years. Ooh, he about ready to go. I think he about ready to go. Uh, I boy, feel like you can only be the man ball, nowhere so long. Bro, he about ready to go. He he better go. He going to be like one of them. One of them. Uh, New Orleans. <laughs> he going to be one of them salty, <laughs> salty women. I gave you the best years of my life. That's how they gonna be, and ain't yeah. That's how they gonna be. Yeah, but uh, in these next ones, who y'all got, man? Y'all got a uh, y'all got the Heat next. Who, who y'all got after that? I'm gonna say uh, I don't know. It depends. On bro, I really, mm. I really want, I really want Philly to beat the Celtics, but Joel Embiid being that is over with. Yeah, yeah. probably. I don't. And, and it's hard. It's hard to beat Tatum and, and Brown. Bro. Yeah, That's I, I think some boys coming out the East though. Yeah, yeah. I already I thought the Celtics know. would win it maybe in six or seven games with MB, but without him, I think it's a wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that probably it's seven game series with Joel for sure. Six or seven, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think uh, Boston. Yeah, I said if, if if the Bucks didn't win, I think Boston would. So shit, I don't really see nobody putting putting them niggas out. Then it seemed like they got they got a little deeper as a team than they were last year. Um, so yeah, I think Boston headed to the finals now. In the West, yeah, me too, bro. The West, I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck. I can't tell you nothing, but I, I can't. I swear, no, I can't. No. I really believe Denver finna put put the Suns' ass out. Really. And yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, whoever, whoever win the series out of Golden State and the Lakers, that's who's gonna go to the finals. I definitely mm-hmm. think they'll be favorite, favorite to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I really because at the level that the the Warriors was just playing, they look just they look in championship form. They look like last year in the yeah. playoffs, and then last with. Year. with the Lakers being a seven scene and, and beating the two seed, I feel like that's that speaks, you know, that they if they especially if they beat the Warriors too, I don't see how they could be stopped after that. Yeah, me either. Yeah, but the Nuggets me looking either. good though, boy. Yeah, that's no, I just and I that's just the thing. Everybody see, been downplaying the Nuggets from the jump. They've been, they been. I'm gonna say this. I just don't see the Nuggets like they just don't give me championship team vibe. <laughs> Hey, hey, they're gonna be like you that. Say that you see the Joker <laughs> throwing them no looks, boy. They're gonna be like man. that Dallas team in 11 on y'all ass, man. Mm. Could nobody stop them. Nah, mm. Hey, man. them boys get me San Antonio Spurs. Vibes, really, man. Really who they, you know, they coach come from under Pop, I believe. Mm. Oh, he do? Man, yeah, that boy. From under, like the, the, the Greg Pop of his uh, tree or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he come from up under them niggas, man. So. Yep. Him and the Bucks coach. Uh Bootenhoser. Yep. Both oh, of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Because you know that you know that woman, she went and won the WNBA championship. That oh, one. the the assistant oh. for the Spurs. Yeah. That oh, one. Shit. That's what's up. What what team what was that? Chicago? No, uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Okay. Who yeah, played with them? With, with Asia Wilson on there. 
Oh uh, shit, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like Candace Parker or some shit. Uh, Candace Parker over there now though. Okay. Yeah, oh, she got to, so they to, they the, uh, to the WNBA. I'll let y'all know Brittany Grind, she had her first practice yesterday back with the team. Oh, that nigga had her first uh... man. <laughs> I hey, swear that's you heard her in that press conference. Man, that's a boy, that sound like a whole man out there, bro. I'm talking about I have, I have, a, I have oh, boy, to get them type of octaves. <laughs> yeah, it was everything I thought it wanted to be. <laughs> like, shit. Man, bring that little bass out your boy. Man, little bit. Shit. Man. God damn. Like, you smoke uh, new posts out there. So, big goddamn. <laughs> Oh man! Shout out to her, man. Glad to see her. Hey, look! Hey, look! Pro, I mean not pro. I ain't gonna, I gonna disrespect Dino. (laughs) I want to see if I got to start. I got a quick story, man. It's gonna be five minutes, producer. Five minute story. So listen, you remember that time we were just talking about this shit not too long ago when I went back. Maybe Easter when I went back to Nags. I uh, linked up with Joy and Reed. I think it was that time, but we were just talking about this shit. You remember that night when uh Joy and Rashard they got jumped at the at the house party? The cat <laughs> I just told somebody that story, bro. Hey, and the hey, look. hey, look, so check it out, bro. We in the we this is like this is like 08. Yeah, this yeah like, like 08 09. Age right now, boy. God damn. So this is like 08. <laughs> it was like 08, man, and um we had all went to this little Kappa. It was a Kappa house party. It was like a big ass house. They had a uh, like a little house party in there. So we went, nigga. Matter of fact, this was on a Thursday night. I remember I went to the, went to school ne- the next morning. So mm-hmm. we all up in there. It's me, it's me, Dino, uh, our partner D. Breck, uh, Joy, my cousin Joy, and Rashard, another one of our partners. Um. I don't know. We had me and Dino split up from them. Like we was like closer towards where the DJ was, and they was in the back. Yeah, right. I remember they was in the back because, like, man, we had that's the last night I swear to God I ever drank Seagram gin. We had a big <laughs> ass thirty two cup of Seagram gin and ice, passing that bitch around, drinking that shit. That's the last, that's the last night I ever drank gin, bro. I shit you not. Oh. Seagram Gin, that's the last night. So we me, me and Dino, if I remember correctly, me and Dino, we up there, we just, you know, we like I said, we close about a DJ about a DJ booth, and we we got he got a chick dancing on him, I got a chick dancing on me. And all of a sudden, I see like the crowd just moving. Mind you, we drunk as fuck. <laughs> and we look back, <laughs> I look back, and I'm like, I'm like, man, that's joy, man. I'm like, Man, what the fuck? So I see him swinging and like I, I see him swing one time and then like he fell, slipped and fell on the floor. I'm like, what's going on? So by the time me and him and Dino, we trying to get through the crowd to get over to where jo- my cousin Joy was, see what's going on. By the time we made it over there, I guess the, I think they said the dudes had jumped out the window or something. Damn, <laughs> my nigga, my nigga Joe is funny now. Cause my nigga Joe was out over there laid out like a nigga had shot him or something or hit him in the head with a bottle. He was just laid out on the ground. And <laughs> what? Hey, look. He talk about he was hot. He said he was hot, man. I mean, you know, it was a pack. It was a pack. This nigga just laid out on the ground. I'm like, nigga, what's wrong with you? He's like, man, I'm hot, man. He's hot. <laughs> Man, that was a fucking oh, wild no. night. Man, I don't know what. I, I don't know. I, I don't even really know how the fight started, bro. But I just remember. I just remember how this nigga was laid out like a nigga had like really hit him with a bottle or some shit. Like right. for a while to, that boy just look for a while to stand that was over there missing each other like a motherfucker. I don't know. Yeah, that, boy, that boy just both of them swinging at each other, they just fall. I, <laughs> I don't think boy, anybody geez, else right. might have been one or two punches landed, bro. Like that's, it, like, that's, a, that's a very niggerish story right there. I can't lie. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a story, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that little story. Me and this boy, me, G, and uh, and our partner, D. Brad. Oh! <laughs> this boy, yeah. oh, this this boy D. He know just about the, about the characters. Oh, he he know what he's hey, about. look, we like 18. Yeah. We like 18, 19, bro. Yeah, yeah. This before, this before, this before the TV show was out, bro. Oh, 
MySpace look, days. That boy, that boy G, he may have been texting the female, you know That's what I'm saying, for probably about a week. So he he didn't he didn't put D Rack on the girl too. So me and D, we were me and, the, and me and D, we were like real close, like eight boom cool. Yeah. So if he he gonna put right, him, right. He, if he get on, he gonna put me on. Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah, he didn't put me on. <laughs> so we 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 thought we going to Monroe. It's like a Friday. Nah, nigga, you gotta tell you gotta tell the before that, but you gotta tell us the before that. Now let me tell the before that. Yeah, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> let me tell before that. I'm gonna let you finish it. So. Nigga, this right. so happened. I run it. I'm just getting out of McDonald's. I'm working at McDonald's at the time. It's 12 at night, nigga. I went to Mac, I went to Walmart for something. And I run into these two niggas. And that's when they tell me, like, yo, Shotty said, come out there. And I was like, oh, for real. Because I had been at work. I was like, I was like, oh, for real. Shit, let me go by the crib and you know, give me, get, you know, change, give me some clothes and shit like that. So I hop down with y'all. That's how, I, I accidentally ran into that. I just want you to know before you finish with this story. I these I ran into these niggas. I wasn't asking for this. I wasn't asking for it. I ran, I you ran was a victim of circumstance, huh? Right, man. Oh, I just so happy to run into these niggas. But nah, go ahead, bro. Oh, so we so we get the uh we we get so we go on the Monroe. So get the Monroe. We uh, you know, we gotta go through Winfield and Dotson and Jonesboro and all that to get tomorrow. So we get to Jonesboro. <laughs> I never forget we right by the, the Pizza Hut, <laughs> and that boy we in the Cadillac. I'm gonna find out a Cadillac. We was in the truck that time. No, we was in the Cadillac. We was in the back. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the back. I'm sitting in the back, man. It's like. Man, it's probably like 12. Nah, it's probably so about we didn't. one, one thirty. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we had to on the way going. We like, man, we already know what this is late. You know? <laughs> so, man, that boy, that boy, uh, G hit, looked at his phone. I don't know if it was G or D. One of them looked at their phone and they say, oh, man, the girls say that one of the girls had a rick and they done died and they ain't come back. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna play with the seals, bro. Hey, man, bro. Dog. That that shit was so funny, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. That shit was so funny. Hey, that's wow. either the best cop out <laughs> story I've <I'd have> never <laughs> heard. Hey, but the next day they had came back with like a list. They had wrote like a little paragraph text to them boys, man. Look, man. <laughs> so they was they was they was was they bullshitting? Check it out. <laughs> we never seen Try. them. <laughs> Never see. We never got. Nigga, we stopped and rest, and we ain't go no further than rest. Right. Nah, <laughs> it's like another maybe 20, 25 minutes down. Uh, down. What is that? Twenty or ten? That's down. That's down twenty, right? Twenty. Yeah, yeah, 20 another 10. 20, 20 to thirty minutes down twenty. We stopped and resting. Yeah. That's when we try to get. So listen, I'm talking to the chick that I, the one that I was talking to, the the I'm one that's alive, that lives. Right. <laughs> So I'm talking to her the whole way down there, bro. We talking on the phone the whole way down there. We get, I think I got off the phone with her for a little bit and we make it to like, I, well, we, I think we made it to Rustin. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to call him. I think one of them niggas had to get out and take a piss. So I'm like, man, let me call Shotty. I call her, no answer. I think I called her a couple of times, no answer. So <laughs> they like, damn, you can't get in contact with them. I'm like, nah, they ain't, she ain't picking up. So I think I called again, or either they called back, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it it sounded like somebody different. It wasn't the chick that I was talking to. So I'm like, yo, can I speak with? Well, I forgot her name. And the girl was like, who? I'm like, such and such. And she's like, oh no, nah, I don't know her. And I'm like, hmm? what the fuck? And I'm like, I'm like, bro, uh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, the, who was just using your phone? She's like, oh, that was my little cousin. Now, mind you, we like 18 at this time. Right. And the chick's <laughs> supposedly like 18 as well. Like, you know, sure. that's what they told us. Yeah. So I'm it like, she, I'm like, yeah, so, so who was that? She was like, yeah, that was my little cousin. I was like, how she look? 
just trying to you know see what's going on like i'm mm -hmm. i'm i'm su i'm suspecting that they playing games at this point so i'm like yeah how she look like oh she uh, now that now mind you the chick that i was talking to supposedly was a light-skinned chick slim whatever she said yeah uh she a pretty dark-skinned chick i'm like i mean it's pretty dark-skinned girl that's what she said i'm like girl i'm like how old is she she's like 15. i'm like hell no nah, <laughs> i'm like hell <laughs> no nah. so they tried to the chick end up texting i think they text that like when we was on our way back or something like that talking about she had a rig and all of that shit. but the, the the girl told me like she was 15 she was dark skin i'm like <laughs> uh, I'm to my nigga. I'm to my man. We out here at 1 30 in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. We gonna go to jail. <laughs> a dummy mission, bro. Oh. Like they really catch it. We on a dummy tree, mission, <laughs> And look, get what we gonna tell each other. Hey man, we ain't gonna tell nobody about <laughs> this. Hey, look, I tell <laughs> I talk look that nigga Joy, that nigga Joy next morning. Then because I had told him I was going out there. We was going out there. He called the nigga the next day. Man, how that shit went out there? I'm like, oh yeah, this. I told that nigga old fire ass story. So I'm like, yeah, that nigga. He was like, what? He was like, what? What? Uh, he was like, what? Poon was doing? I'm like, oh shit, he had him. Like, yeah, had him right over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, nigga, you should have came. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, and at the end, he, cause he was like, that nigga was like, damn, man, I should have. Like he was really upset, like he should have came. Nigga, I, the end up, bro, I couldn't even, I couldn't even keep up with the lie, bro. At the end of that, so I was like, bro, I'm bullshit. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I told I told that I told that lie about 10 years. Bro. Man, I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, man. Oh, man. Was too amped, man. I, was like, I, man. I only want to talk about this shit with y'all. <laughs> Hey, cause my nigga Joe, bro. my nigga Joe, like he the type of nigga, like he know I ain't finna lie to him. So when I said it like that and I broke the story down to him and all that, he was like, damn, he believed me. So I was like, I can't have that nigga believe in that, man. I ain't man. gonna lie like that. <laughs> it is great. Like being young and horny is dangerous. I It'll have you in this shit. <laughs> man, man, 18, man, I'm telling you, bro. Good. Shit Good. crazy. All you gotta do is think. Literally, have a, a hint of I'm about to get some pussy. You on the way? You on the way? <laughs> Don't know where you going? You my, nigga out, out the bed, under, my nigga in the bed under the covers, nigga. Man, you getting up? 18, 19? She ain't gonna miss out on that. I swear to God, 18, 19. Oh, she really four o'clock, boy. You everything get touched, man. You ain't let us look the man. Nah, man, man. Bro, 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 we appreciate you coming on, bro. Uh, we yeah. had, I think, we I feel like we had a dope conversation, man. We gave back a, you know, gave, you know, put a couple nuggets out there for the young barbers, you know. Um, but hell yeah, bro, I appreciate you coming on and keep doing big shit, bro. Keep elevating, you know what I'm saying. Keep putting out that fire ass work, nigga. You know. Um, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. And I'm gonna have to get with you next time I come out there. I be dipping in and out, man. I'll, you know, nigga be trying to make their rounds and all that shit, but I'm gonna have to get with you when I come back out there for sure. Oh yeah, bro, you already know it. Yeah, little. yeah, for sure, for sure. That's it, man. Well, shout out to Dino, man. Shout out to the Precision Barber. Uh, shout out Rich Dreams Prayer. Shout out the Now Legacy Network. It's the Rich Dream Show, man. Where you make your million dollar scheme become your rich dream. I let y'all. Yes, sir. Okay. And that was fire, bro. Oh, yeah. That nigga pulled that goddamn story out, boy.